Hello and welcome. Brad aka The Wine Guy here with a bottle of Bedford Winery Riesling. Now the, this Riesling uh, made by Stefan Bedford, the winemaker over there, uh, is uh, done in an Alsatian style. So it's a beautiful food friendly wine. It just really, really is. Um, let's see here. Stefan. Let's do a little thing on uh, a little bit on him. He, uh, 1977 UCLA food science graduate, specializing in wine. Um, worked his, uh, started his career up at Ridge in Santa Cruz area back then. Uh, found his way down to Rancho Sisquoc in Santa Barbara County in the mid '80s. Took them from like 1,200 cases to 12,000. Um, here you go, man. Uh, then he went to work for the Foley Wine Group and modernized everything they do and brought them all up in current and then went out with Mr. Thompson on Bedford Thompson Winery and then and now it's just Bedford Winery up there in Los Alamos. You know, so if, if, if you love Santa Barbara County uh, wine, Stefan is, is somebody that you need to get to know. So, um, man, I can smell it from here. The aromatics on this wine unbelievable and that's what Stefan said he loved about the the 2009 vintage were the aromatics on it <sighs> straw fruit richness you know when, uh, Joanne and I were off uh, cruising around the the vineyards the other day we happened to stop by to see Stefan um, and the, they're, they're pouring the 2010 in the, the tasting room right now, but the, the 09 here is what we managed to pick up from them. So I think you could twist some arms and get some yourself. Mmm. Such a, a subtle but intense spiciness, you know. However those aromatics are going to come through to you is how the palate's going to come through to you. you know, I, I hate trying to label wines on what they mean to me because they might not mean the same thing to you. And this is one of those experiences in the wine world that's just going to be very unique to you. Because it's so warming, it's so rich, it's so full. It's like no Riesling you've probably ever experienced in your life. You know, oh. And one thing that, 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 that lends to this is the barrel fermentation. You know, Stefan loves fermenting his whites in barrels. And this is 100% neutral French oak and then aged out for 16 months in neutral French oak. So it's, it, it's just the expression of the grape. And if you've ever eaten a raw Riesling grape, it is a spicier grape. It's not sweet like a Cabernet Sauvignon at all, uh, you know, in, 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 the, in the actual fruit, eating the fruit. But it is just, and then that oak just, just, whew, just brings it right up. Not a, not a common winery, Bedford Winery. If you're ever in Los Alamos, you've got to stop by the taste room and check it out. Hmm. Rancho Los Alamos Vineyard was the source of the fruit, right, right in the middle of the Los Alamos Vineyard, just a, just a beautiful little vineyard, you know. Now, Stephen likes to say this about wine, you know, think before you drink. And what that means to him is that, think about tomorrow, think about what you're going to be eating tomorrow. Think about whether or not you want to pull out an older wine or a newer wine or whatever. And then stand it upright, stand it upright on, you know, and let it just come together in that position before you drink it the next day. And uh, it just helps everything settle and it helps the wine, you know, become one again after being, you know, disturbed from its long slumber if you're opening a library wine. Wow. Just a work of art for Riesling. Well, if you remember the crew, you've had it in a recent shipment. If not, we'd love to have you join the crew. Drink wine, play inside. Bye for now, my friends. Mm. Unbelievable wine, huh?